G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now the approvals application is uh, being rolled out to Microsoft Teams at the moment, uh, allowing you to have uh, a, a central place or almost an approvals hub where you can create approval processes and also manage any approvals that are coming to you as well. Now, you may not realize, but you're not restricted to uh, the approvals that actually get created inside that app application. So one of the processes and one of the things that's fairly common and a common request is around page approvals in SharePoint in maybe in intranets or things like that. So what we can do is configure a page approval process, the out of the box native way to do that in SharePoint. But that also means that it, it enters those approval uh, processes uh, come into the approvals app in the Teams uh, environment as well. So let's take a look at what I am talking about here. So we can see here I'm on the Leadership Connection site. Now we have configured page approvals for the site pages library in this case, and I'm just going to make a change to this Leadership Team page here. So I'm gonna pop this page into edit mode. I might just delete this uh, web part here, and let's make this a, a one column web part. Now you can see rather than the publish button, I've got to submit for approval. So I'm going to submit that page for approval now prior to it being published. And the, the slide out uh, panel is going to appear here and I'll just type in a little message. It's been set and configured to uh, send this approval to Nesta. So I'm going to submit that now. And what we'll do now is we'll flick over to Nesta's uh, environment and we'll take a look and see what happens. So you can see that Nesta, I'm in Teams, I've got the approvals application already added. Now the bottom right hand corner, you may have just seen a little pop up message to say that uh, there's a new approval request. It's entered my activity feed. I'll click on my activity feed and this uh, dialog box appears now telling me that this particular page requires approval for publishing. And you can see I've got direct access to review the page and I've also got the timeline and the status of where it's at. Now I can click this uh, button here and I'm going to be taken to that page. I can review the, uh, review the changes, uh, review the page, once I'm done, I can either approve or reject it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and approve this now. It's going to submit my response and that will then uh, trigger uh, the feedback and the process to uh, finalize here in Megan's environment. You can see that the final status now is set to approved and that page is now published. So with the approvals app in Microsoft Teams, you're not restricted to the, the approval processes that you create through the application itself, it actually ties into the entire platform. So a great piece of functionality there. I hope that brings you some value and I'll see you next time.